and by the time uh, May rolls around, we'll be able to at least get another uh, good two months in before uh, July, August, September is our usual. By the time, time uh, May rolls around, we'll be able to at least get another two months in. And in October and whatever, you know. Hopefully nobody's coughing or sneezing or doing anything like that by then. <laughs> yeah, we have to be able to control that. That's like a new thing. Anyway, all right. We are are you live. Cool, Edward? Yeah, all right. Cool. Hi, Edward. Hello. Thank you, Edward. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you, and thank you, and thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, sorry. So we, we are a little late go going online just because I was having some issues with my microphone and uh, had to do that before going live. So um, yeah, uh, how's everybody doing? Everybody good? Yeah, good. Awesome. Well, thank, thank you all. Today uh, I will be playing everybody's videos, which is uh, great because I have a really good connection at home. Yay. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll get to enjoy some smooth videoing. Uh, and before we start, as always, just want to make some announcements uh, and let you all know what we have going on <coughs> here at the Jazz Gallery. Um, so let's see, starting with this week, we have our live stream uh, from the Jazz Gallery. Uh, as always, on Thursdays, 7.30, 9.30 sets, we will be featuring uh, the amazing composer, alto saxophonist uh, Caroline Davis, uh, with a band featuring uh, Julian Shore, Marquise Hill, Chris Tordini, and Alan Mednard. Um, Really excited for that. That's going to be, as, as I mentioned, 7.30, sets at the Jazz Gallery to uh, attend it. You go on our website, jazzgallery.org, and you buy tickets. Uh, it's very easy to do that. Um, just click on the calendar, and it'll take you to the, <laughs> to the ticket page. Um, next week, we have our last lockdown session for uh, the time being. We are putting that on pause because we have some news um, that I've already mentioned if you tuned into the last uh, live stream, but I will talk about that in a second. Next week on Monday at 6 o'clock, we will be featuring Ryan Keverly, Savannah Harris, Jeff Ballard, and Ohad Talmore. Um, that is a non-ticketed event, as is this one. So if you want to join us, all you have to do is come on our YouTube channel and you'll click the, the live stream video link thing, thumbnail person guy and uh yeah uh you can join us uh these these events uh on monday nights are uh supported by your donations um so we don't ask for you to buy tickets or anything but it means that we count on you guys to uh donate and i'm not talking to you four i'm talking to the people watching on youtube <laughs> uh, uh, no, uh, it, it helps us a ton when you donate because we are able to obviously pay the musicians. That's the first thing that is in our mind. But um, other than that, we also have many bills to pay. We have to pay rent on the space that we're still keeping. We're still doing shows from there. Um, we have to pay for the internet bill, which is how we live stream the concerts to you. We have to pay for equipment, which we're uh, consistently trying to upgrade as, as we go on just to keep improving. We have to pay, uh, pay for cleaning of the space, which we do every week. We try to keep the, the space uh, tidy and neat and clean so there's no COVIDs around. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We try to, we have... Among other reasons, yes. Yeah, of, of course, but <laughs> that's important. Uh, we have a piano tuner come in every week. We have to buy uh, toilet paper, courtesy of Gilad Hexelman. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, but there's there, there's many many expenses, some things that you might not even think of, and uh, your donations help support all of these things. So, if you do want to donate, um, there is a link right below in the description. Um, if it's not showing the description, just click the show more thing; it'll pop all the way down. And uh, there's a link to donate. It'll take you to PayPal. Everybody knows how to use PayPal. If you don't, uh, call somebody up or ask us. We're here in the chat box. <laughs> process. We can help you. Um, so yeah, uh, please consider donating. We asked for a suggested donation of $15, but if you can do less, that is cool. If you can do more, that is great. Um, so yeah. Uh, the thing I was going to talk about is reopening. We are in plans of reopening the Jazz Gallery, and that is uh, currently slated to happen in... Uh, there's a slow opening on the 29th, which is uh, the day we will be having Billy Hart stream from the Jazz Gallery. Uh, so we are doing a 24 maximum capacity thing. And what that means is that we're going to have six tables. We are sitting one party per table. So whether you are a party of four or a party of one, you get that table to you and your party. Um, we are not going to be sitting seating two parties at one table. So it can be a minimum of six people, um, one per table, or it can be 24 people, four per table. But uh, the tables are all very nicely distanced and 
whatnot. This also means that you will have to follow some of our protocol. Um, we do still require masks. We, st we still do, well, not still, but we will be asking you to fill out a questionnaire, which you will be sent if you plan on attending. Um, us, the staff, we're all going to be in, either in the process or fully vaccinated at that point. I'm actually getting my first vaccine this week, uh, tomorrow. So, um, yeah, we're going to be keeping, keeping things tidy, keeping things organized, and keeping things safe for everybody to come join us. Um, on June 1st, we are planning on doing a full reopening, I believe it is. Um, Actually, I talked to Janet today, and she said 50%, 50%. June 1st. Well, and then September 1st, 100%. Wow. There you go. Great. So my what fingers that means is in June 1st, we were going to be opening up for more than one concert a week, though. Thursday is still going to be our live stream concert. Friday and Saturday for the time of June through September is going to be exclusively in-person concerts. Um, yeah. September, like how we used to do. <laughs> Thursday is going to be live streamed. Yeah. Uh, starting September, we are hopefully going to start opting into uh, live stream concerts on Friday and Saturday. So people that play on Fridays and Saturdays can choose to be live streamed. Um, some of them won't. Some of them will be. Some of them doesn't matter. So uh, point is, all, all the content that you're receiving right now, you will still be receiving. And in the future, there will be more. So. That is the only thing that affects you if you do not live in the state of or the city of New York. So um, what else? The last thing I should mention is if you want to support the Jazz Gallery um, uh, and you can't become a member or you can't pay for admission or whatever, the best thing you can do is subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, down below, there is a button that says subscribe. You can click it if you haven't subscribed yet, and that will help us a bunch. Um, actually, I'm looking at the calendar. There's one more thing that I should mention, and that is on the, uh, what is it, the 29th of this, no, the 26th of this month. Uh, the Jazz Gallery has received footage uh, of Roy Hargrove from 1991 featuring an amazing band, uh, Jeffrey Keezer, Christian McBride, Marcus, uh, sorry, no, Greg Hutchinson. I was, I was going to say Marcus Gilmore. Um, who else? Who else is there? He, he um, wasn't born. He was, he, no, he was born. He was born. He was like five. <laughs> that would be amazing. If... <laughs> uh, Mark Whitfield and Antonio Hart at the Mad yeah. Defunct. The bottom line. Remember that, Luis? The bottom yeah, line. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So sure. we have that footage, and we will be streaming that on YouTube um, right here, right now. No difference as what you're viewing right now um, on the 26th at 6 p.m. It is going to be a one-time stream. There is not going to be any replays. No, no save for later. You have to tune in at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, time New York time, and watch it live with us. And you will never get a chance to watch that again. Probably not for <laughs> so, a long, long, so, long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, you definitely want to watch it because it's great. It's very high-quality footage from what I've heard. Uh, from a TV show or something. Um, yeah, I mean, consider it's 91. It's it's very good. Yeah. So tune in. That's on the 26th at 6 p.m. With that said, uh, welcome to the lockdown sessions. We have some very, very great guests for y'all tonight. Uh, Sarah Caswell, Luis Bonilla, Nadia Norhouse, and Or Barraquette. Um, great to have you all here. And uh, I guess we're going to get started. Are we doing this alphabetically? Yeah, let's do alphabetically. Yeah, so yes. Or... What can I say about you? You're one of the most killing bass players out there, and um, it's it's awesome to hear you play. We actually, you were on our very first live stream concert. Um, oh wow! Jeremy. Right. Yeah. I'm yeah. I'm always like checking out your Instagram because you have like some some really cool stuff. Always like showing some some new stuff on the bass. I'm not a bass player, but it's always nice to hear um, how the bass works as a musician of any kind. So, um, uh, everybody, please, please welcome or barricade. All right. And I have your video. Uh, you got it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You I made it. <laughs> we had a lot of Wi Fi drama today. In the yeah. House. Did it? Did it just like... <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> did it work? Wait, or... Yeah. Where are you? Are you in Brooklyn? Yeah. And you had a Wi Fi problem? What's going on? Yeah, it's called Optimum. Oh, oh. Yep. <laughs> did you just say Ironic. that out loud? <laughs> <laughs> that is the problem. Hey, yeah. I, I will say it out loud. <laughs> I hate Optimum. Optimum. They're, can, they're can. the worst. They're the only thing available here. Have you have you checked for Verizon? Yeah, yeah. They oh. don't have it. They, we only have Optimum here. Bummer. Just, yeah. just the I, I switched to Verizon over the, the, the lockdown and uh, 
it's been life changing. <laughs> yeah, I had it at, at, at the previous place I lived, and it was yeah. I, I this the only thing I miss about my old place. <laughs> Verizon. <laughs> Verizon. Yes. That's funny. So, um, do you want to say anything about the video, or should I just play it? Uh, you can just play it. I think I'm. I think I'm saying a few words in the beginning. My yeah, my yeah. partner helped me edit it, so I'm not oh. sure what was the final edit because I was teaching all day. So she sent you. It's. I'm not fully responsible for what you'll see me say. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's see it. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Uh, happy to be on this edition of the Jazz Gallery Lockdown Session. Thanks for having me. I prepared a couple of songs that I just really like to go to as a place of uh, rest and solace and reprieve, which uh, that has been, you know, the function that music played for me during this time. The first song, a player called Shir Le Loshem by Shalom Chanoch. Israeli folk singer. The second one is uh, Travel by Pat Metheny. What are the songs about for you? Listen, we only have 10 minutes and the songs are nine minutes, so this intro can't be that long.
We're muted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was beautiful. Wait, yeah. what was the second tune? Uh, it was a Pat Metheny song called Travels. Which uh, album is that on? It's on a bunch of, it's a, the first version is like on one of the 80s Pat Metheny group okay. stuff. But I actually, my favorite version is uh, there's this Charlie Hayden, Michael Brecker album called American Dreams with Brad Meldow oh, and Brian Blade. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's the, that's the second track on it. I used to listen to it for years, didn't know it was a Pat Metheny song. Um, yeah, That's I've beautiful. been just, yeah. Man, and the, and the sound you're getting is so, so great. Thank you. I was getting, I would say, at least, I don't know if it's my headphones, there was a little bit of clipping. I had, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still learning uh, how to record myself. Well, I what, want to say, what microphone were you using? Because you're only using one mic, right? Yes. So I want to uh, give a very a public warm uh, thank you to Harish Raghavan. Who kind of <laughs> lent me? Oh, Harish is the man. He get he he just lent me a a bunch of let me take a bunch of his gear home and play with it and Facetimed me as I tried as I figured out what goes where. Like mm -hmm. I'm I really I'm really bad with the tech stuff. Like bass is the most advanced technology. I'm still currently able to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're making. Sounded, making... sounded, sounded impeccable. I didn't hear any clipping or anything. I'm okay, cool. Clear. Yeah, yeah. Think, yeah, really, really great too. Yeah. By the great. by, the way, is is that a lion's head on the scroll? Man, it's it's Beethoven's head. I mean, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> it's random. I can... couldn't, quite, couldn't quite see it. Oh man, going through the halls of New England Conservatory. Oh, a Beethoven out there like this, you know. It's... Oh look oh, at that! Oh my oh, god! Oh, wow, that's amazing. It's kind... Yeah, it's kind of creepy. But, um, wow! <laughs> wow! Who makes it? Uh, I don't know. That's uh, it came this way. Descended from playing, the heavens. Play in tune like the trombones. <laughs> yeah, he's. I actually get asked about it. I used. I mean, when gigs, when live gigs were a thing, I would I would take this bass on the road as often as I could, and people. It would usually be one of the things that people ask me after the gig. So I just yeah. invented a bunch of different <laughs> answers just to just so I don't have to say the same thing. I would say like, yeah. "This is my grandmother, <laughs> and I'm a, I'm, I'm a seventh generation bass player in a very long lineage. Seventh, <laughs> seventh, just a family yeah. heirloom." <laughs> Seven yeah. generation. That's a long time. <laughs> Just to keep That's... it interesting for me. You know? So good. A beer opener. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> That'd be kind of handy to have. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, the Mingus one has a lion's head, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then Boris has that one. He has oh, one like that. that. Andy, McKee, Andy McKee has one too. Oh, that, okay. So I think uh, from the oh, it's like from the 1600s or something crazy. I think there was oh, the Paris, the uh, Paris Philharmonic at that time made 16 of them, and he oh, has wow. one. So wow. yeah, but he's, wow. always, he's always telling everybody that they should kick in a little bit more because the the lion needs some ruby eyes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> So that is. <laughs> I, I heard Ruby helps the sound, so. No, oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Clarity of tone. Yes. <laughs> wow. Well, but that was great. Thanks, so. Yeah, thank you. So, um, yeah. let's see. There, there is a YouTube chat. I don't know if you guys saw Rio commented on here, but um, you guys can keep up with the chat. Um, or if you want to go on YouTube, you can read all the nice, uh, nice comments that you got. Uh, yeah. Oh, Caroline's here. Hey, Caroline. Caroline's here. Shout out to Caroline. Oh. Wow. Yeah, and and also, yeah. If if somebody has questions and I don't get to it in time, Narissa is on the chat as well. She will probably help me out as she already did. So thank you, Narissa. Um, somebody asked how to get the tickets for the um, Billy Hart show uh, in person, and those will be up soon. So stay updated. Anyways, uh, thank you, Or. And if you all want to follow Or on Instagram, uh. 
you can find him at or Barakat, just his name. Um, for, for those that don't know, I, I promote people's Instagrams because that's usually the quickest way to get in touch with somebody if you need to like ask them for lessons or ask them for a gig or get their website, which usually is under their bio or something. So um, Instagram is a great way to check out your musicians and stay in touch with them, your favorite musicians. I have uh, a question. I always wanted to ask you this, but is or short for something or or is the full name? And is this a common Israeli name? Yeah, well, it's it's, it's the full name. Okay. Uh, and it's uh, it started being a more common Israeli name around the 80s by the time I was born. It means light. So oh, it's kind okay. of so it's kind of like think you know like new agey hippie parents in the 80s i see i see trying to not give their kids another biblical name because we have enough like <laughs> Chaim and yaakov and yeah. moshe um uh, but That's yeah it's, it's been a common name but people often i'm half argentinian so the argentinian section of the family calls me horacio <laughs> okay <laughs> uh, but it has yeah, and some people call me think that I'm Orlando, but that is I've gotten some emails saying like Orlando, and I'm like, are you trying to reach Orlando Le Fleming? And I'm like, no. <laughs> this is Orlando or. <laughs> yes. No. Or or yeah. Yeah, but that's yeah, that's the full name. Okay. Like oh. I didn't know that. That's yeah. cool. Thank you. And or is there something that you are working on that you would like to promote real quick before we move on? Uh, I think I think I'm uh, I'm bringing a quartet for the first week of the partial fifty yeah, percent yeah. reopening in June. I forgot which uh, day, but either was it Friday or Saturday? It's the fifth, which I don't know which yeah. day of the Friday, week it is. Friday, 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 yeah. Friday fifth. So yes. yeah, so it's yeah. a quartet. So it's a new quartet, quartet with Morgan Guerin. Jeremy Korn and Savannah Harris. Oh, wow. And uh, we, nice. we've been working on some new music during the lockdown. I'm actually going to record it the week after. So the gig was perfectly timed. Perfect. Thank you for yes. that. You can make all kinds of mistakes before you get into the studio. <laughs> get them all out of the way, yeah. We'll think That's of new right. mistakes for the studio for sure, but yeah. we'll mm -hmm. at least. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. So there you go. And if you want to stay updated uh, with that record, go on Instagram. If you want to come watch or in person, uh, there you go at the jazz gallery. That's right. Oh, uh, Ohad said, no, you all played at Seeds. <laughs> yeah, we, we played at Seeds a couple of months ago. Yeah. 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 So uh, there you go. Hey, Ohad. Oh, Caroline said your name means, means gold in French. That too. Yeah. My parents didn't know that, though. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I was about to make horrible Jewish joke, but let me not do that. You get. <laughs> we're live. You we're get, uh, live. Uh, <laughs> joke received. I know. Wait, wait till the fifth. Wait till the fifth. We're I live can, on you. can fill in the black in my mind. <laughs> I think we can all do that right now. Yes. Uh, with that said, ad break. Ad break. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Um, yeah, so what's going on is, is we're running ads also. So um, right now, some people might be watching what's going on right now. Some people might be getting an ad. Um, so we're still hanging out, but yeah. we're going to break you for know, a minute. I'm watching on my phone. I never get ads. Why is that? Oh, good phone. No you clue. Have... <laughs> Must be on Verizon. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I can't see it because I'm on my on I'm on the gallery account, so it's not going to show me an ad because I'm right, right, you're on it, yeah, 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 no ads for me. But I, I know, like, if you refresh the page, if you come in fresh into the YouTube page, it might show like a pre-roll ad. Oh, I, I see, had some I ads see. when I joined in. Yeah. Cool. Uh, oh, I have to refresh the stream to get an ad ever. Yeah, McCall. So McCall gets the um. The pre rolls. Caroline got an ad for running shoes. Running shoes. <laughs> something I have recently Googled. Yeah. I know that's that's cre yeah. creepy, right? Like you say something near your computer and you open the computer and then like add about things you were just speaking about, not even typing. Like it's know, always like, listening. It's yes. always listening. It's so yeah. creepy. Big brother, baby. <laughs> and yet yeah, effective because then I'm just buying stuff. <laughs> 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 Wait, who so, did? Who did? Didn't somebody get kicked out of Australia recently? Was it Facebook? They were going to get. Oh kicked yeah, out of 
yeah, we don't get any news. So I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I mean, I could <laughs> the check. Best way, you know, believe me. I, I could check. I could check the news. Source. I mean, no, I've just been watching it on TV. But um, yeah, we don't get any news in the um, in the feed at all. Yeah. Oh, that's think. great. <laughs> I think. No, remember, I'm just looking for animal videos. So I'm not even. I'm not even bothering. <laughs> that. I'm done. I'm done with the news. I've had enough. Uh... Well, All right. um, has it been a minute? It's been a minute. So okay. we're going to move on to our next guest. Um, Luis, um, incredible trombonist and musician. And, and I'm, I'm particularly like, because one of your first gigs when you moved to the city was with Lester Bowie, right? Yep. Yeah. And and that always, I mean, I'm, I'm really fascinated by like, you know, you, you and your generation that like. Weren't, <laughs> uh, uh, I'm, no, I'm sorry, he said a little louder. <laughs> <laughs> hold on hold on i'm getting there let me make my point i'm fascinated by like the people that weren't part of the original aacm that kind of like got in there and um you know you're in, in that group i also like think of people like jeff parker you know that yeah. have, have taken those approaches but also you know that's not what you do actively or like you know you have a, a whole other side of you also as well and, you know, similarly to Jeff as well, that like you take these approaches and put them into your own thing. And, you know, part of the whole AACM thing is individuality of the voice and all that. So mm. um, I, I, I love that of your music and I'm um, excited to see what you have for us. I, I know we had a little bit of a, a fun adventure trying to get that video in here, but I have it. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> but I know Luis, Luis, people of this generation, Luis really tried and I really appreciate that. Wait, so Luis, do you know everybody on the panel? Or Annette, Nadia, you, you guys hey, know each or, other. Right? Or I, I've, I haven't met Or before, or Edward, but... If, uh, hey, sure. Luis, we, we, met, we met at Arturo's uh, about 10 years ago. That's even when I was young. <laughs> Arturo's on Houston. It was, I remember because it was the first, my first year in, in New York. Oh, yeah. uh, Wait, what did Luis oh. say to you? <laughs> I don't, man, I don't remember. I don't, can't remember if you, if you sat in or you just hung out and you knew someone I was playing with. Uh, yeah, Louis uh, like, what did but I yeah, say? But for sure, but for sure I'm, I'm familiar with your name and you certainly look familiar. And I was thinking that I, that we had met before, but. We met, we <laughs> met, we met at Arturo's, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And, and I, I feel like we met before as well, because you've played at the gallery in, in the last eight years. Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think I've actually, now that I see you, I think I met you when I was, I played, it was actually on my birthday. It was Joe Feidler and, and Sackbutt and the. Oh, the, wow. Uh, yeah. That's what it was. That was a right? great gig. Yeah. 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 That was, that, that, I mean, that was a while. That was like five years ago, I think, or something like that. Yeah. yeah something like that. Yeah. yeah. You know, now I was thinking how I met you, which I, it took me a minute to remember, but I met you through a certain trombone player. <laughs> <laughs> At, at, at uh, was it Pier One? Was that right on the corner of Fourteenth and Fifth Avenue? Really? That's, was, is was that what happened? Pier One or Oh, have you been at the Vigi Vigionis? I can't remember. I could have been Vigionis too. I don't know. Yeah, but, yeah, don't for know. sure. But that was that was shortly after I got to New York. A long time ago. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. A couple lifetimes. I was seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Anyway. Yeah, but. A good, good little while ago. And on, I got to New York in 91. So, um, you know. yeah, that's that's a while back. And it's been, been, a, been a little bit. Yeah. It's amazing. It goes by, goes by quickly. You know, but um, I don't know, after, after 28 years of, of being in, uh, in New York, uh, made the jump over to Europe and I've uh, been living in Graz now for two and a half years enjoying it uh professor at the university here at uh, performing arts school in graz mm. opened uh opened a, a jazz club <laughs> yeah what were you thinking <laughs> uh, i don't know i was like i don't know rio did it it can't be that hard <laughs> then, you, then you asked me to send then you asked me to send the, so yeah can you record something i was like, yeah 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 sure it's like what well, and a video and i was like uh oh <laughs> So, you know, and I don't have recording equipment at, at home. So I'm uh, really fortunate that um, uh, that I have a very good friend that I have another recording project with that has like a full-blown studio. And it's just like three blocks from, from where I live, uh, Fabio Shuri's sister. So 
Cool. Uh, so I just, I don't know, just re recorded, just went into his, into his place one day, kind of just recorded having some fun and took a little theme from um, uh, my daughter and, and her, uh, her friend who's um, South African, his uh, Connor, they're, they're, you'll see them uh, making their cameos uh, in and out Ooh. throughout the video. And Amazing. she's teaching, she's teaching him Spanish. And so one of the words that he really, really hooked on that he was singing all day was uva, which means grape. <laughs> you know? so, I, so that just kind of stuck in my head and just like the, I was just kind of like, you know, think about the whole thing and went into the studio and uh, Fabio asked, what do you want to do? And I said, oh, I don't know, we'll just start laying down. I just started laying down a bunch of vocal percussion. So it's just all vocals and uh, and some some trombones and, amazing uh, and, you know and and a nice day a lot of footage from uh, from a nice day in in Graz and you know no no that's you know that's that's kind of it. it's a really really nice contribution to uh to the jazz gallery it's been a while I actually my first live recording was from the jazz gallery that I recorded I think in sometime 2005 came out a couple or three years later like the 2008 or something like this yeah, and, uh, and it really kind of uh, rekindled my love to uh, to continue recording. So, you know, so just uh, so it's you know kind of nice to be back home again. Thank you, Rio. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll come back to it ten minutes. <laughs> ten minutes later, see. we're like, thank you. Not thank you. That's, it's 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 short and sweet. It's uh, um, uh, it pulls in a, a, a lot of the uh, a, a lot of the uh, influences that I, that I've had, and and of course my affinity for uh, for Latin and jazz music. So, as Maynard Fergan would say, take it away. Let's see it. <laughs> Didn't do the thing, but everybody, please welcome Luis Bonilla. <laughs> there you go. Uh, right. Video. Here we go. All right jazz gallery community folks coming to live from Graz Austria thank you Rio and Dale always thinking of you guys live from Graz here we go Uva.
<laughs> wow, that's great. I love it. I love it. I you should really? have probably washed. I should have probably washed the grapes first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant! It, it looked a little dusty, oh, but that's all right. That's all right. Wow, <laughs> amazing job, Lewis! I'm so proud of you. Ta -da! <laughs> that sounded and felt great, man. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah. Everything, yeah. everything, everything. Yeah. So your really daughter's. Yeah, she's, she's 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 grown considerably, so especially I since know. the last time she saw Jonah was on. Now, what is it, almost three years, maybe? Oh, it's been longer was than that. Half, half years, was no, years I, long, that was like right before she started the music program in the city, remember? She just started the program. Oh, so that, yeah. that was how many years ago? Oh, <laughs> when see, I was, long time uh, ago. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. remember Jonah and uh, Philip's son Clifford and Elise running through the hotel in London on every floor <laughs> for hours on end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Walk in the door. Those kids yours? Kids what kids? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Only mine when it's convenient. <laughs> yeah. Wow, but I mean, you did a re really great job. I mean, I love watching all the scenery from Gratz and also that's your club, right, Tubes? That's it, tubes. Yeah. Very nice. Awesome. To open, to open in the next few weeks. Uh, we opened up in the fall. Yep, mm -hmm. we opened up in the fall. And pretty successful. We had uh, five, six weeks. It holds about 85, 90 people. Okay. Uh, sold out. Uh, the nice nice thing about it is the groups that come into, uh, into town have a Thursday, Friday, Saturday uh, mm -hmm. engagement. Uh, Sunday afternoons are running a different sort of a different kind of matinee thing. It can be just really kind of anything. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm starting a um, little project with a friend of mine Monday nights doing a um, a uh, Frank Zappa project. Oh, oh wow! And, yeah, and then same thing. And then on Wednesday is doing like a young jazz composers group. So they, you know, they have to write music on on stage and work it out. Sort of like the workshop with the Mingus thing a little bit. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and then, you know, let's say play a few of their own tunes, workshop one tune, have to perform it. Then second set for all the students that are here in town, there's lots of them, you know, come in and do a jam session for the second set. Nice. So she, 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 yes, uh, you got to teach them. Yeah, you know, yeah, just like, you know, it's like, eh, just let them, let them stumble and, you know, get it, you know, just whatever, just, you know, just get it. Well, man, that's that's super problems. killing and super important. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I think they got to provide some kind of environment for uh, uh, for learning because it just really doesn't happen through osmosis. And you got to get up there and learn what it is to, to make mistakes and mm -hmm. find your way out of it. Definitely. You know, the, the, the only mistake you can really do is to quit. And that's, you know, just yeah. stop playing and, yeah. and, you know, get lost or whatever. And that's, you know, that's part of it. I yeah. remember Bob Berg telling you about rent us, like, you know, it's just, you know, use, use your brain. If you, if you're walking into a forest and you get lost, what are you going to keep, what are you going to do? Keep walking in, <laughs> stop, go back out, assess, assess your map and then, go, then go back in, you know? So. Oh, I can keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> How deep can I go? <laughs> gotta be there. I know it's in there somewhere. <laughs> I know it's not behind me. It's gone. <laughs> hey man, that's one way to approach yes. it. That's one way to approach oh, yeah, it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's it's great that you're like actually you know creating the environment for that to happen there as well. You know because a lot yeah, a lot of yeah, people yeah. will say like ah oh, young people and like whatever and then you know not do anything about it. And, you know, but yeah. You, 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 you know, it's, it, man. It's, you really it's cool. do. Just like you know, feed feedback into it, and um, I mean, I was at one point in New York for well, actually not at one point the whole time. I, I was always busy in New York. Yeah. And the last, you know, uh, half a dozen eight years, it was really just kind of wearing out a little bit. And to move to Graz, which is a city of about three hundred thousand people, that's about it. But we're super centrally located in in Lower Europe, so it's like super super nice, great great place to be. Uh, I think we're like eight different borders, none which is more than four hours away. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, so there's a you know lot lot to do. It's it's always active here. There's always kind of you know a lot of stuff happening. I still have another uh, jazz quintet going. Then I have this other uh, kind of electronica quartet that I'm doing with uh, with the recording engineer, who's also a guitar player with Fabio. Mm -hmm. 
uh, called Exploding Pig. So if you're on, <laughs> if, you're on if you're on Spotify, check check it out. You know, it's like uh, it's uh, you know it's just kind of I don't know. It's hard to hard to describe. But Exploding Pig, you said. Exploding Pig. Yeah, mm. I love that already. <laughs> That's a vision. <laughs> That's good, and, and it's just it's really it's really a lot of fun. And uh, we just started posting things up on Spotify every couple of weeks. I think we have already maybe five tunes up or something and mm. getting a lot of uh, a lot of attention on it thus far. And uh, people are still planning on, you know, we've, we've been asked to uh, to perform some engagements throughout the summer. So, you know, between the jazz camp and the drum camp and the JMI big band that I run and the sound, it's like it's, it's <laughs> I left New York because I thought it was I thought I was gonna be able to relax a little, but that's you know that's that's not the case. But I mean, but it's you know, but it's just really it's just completely totally cool. So, that's you know, cool. fantastic. So yeah, great. And yeah, thank yeah. you so much. That that I mean, I was gonna ask what you've been working on, but you you have a lot that you're working on, and that's awesome. Um, that's amazing. Video video production, baby. That's what I'm working on. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> see, now, see, but now you I'm know like, how to I'm do like, this. Unlike, unlike, or I'm fully responsible for my editing. Oh. <laughs> it's good, you know. Now yeah, you, you're works. showing that you make mistake, and this is how you learn. Not that you know, not the video was a mistake. Video was great, but I'm sure there are a lot of mistakes getting to that. That's what I meant. Oh, it's like st I stum stumbled all the way through it, but you and Edward like really just kept picking me up and pushing me in the right direction. So, just, but I mean, you know, that was dust great. Off, dust off a little and. You know, dust off a second. When last video I sent you said, ah, that's great. I got 10 seconds. I was going to write you back. <laughs> that's it. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, I, I just got to the last, the last one, the one you sent me before was 10 seconds of just the part where you eat the grape and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's not going to um, cut it. But um, see, now you can start your YouTube channel now. Trombonia, right? So you can do yeah, more videos and... I think I have a YouTube channel from before it was even a thing that like Google asked me to do if I wanted a YouTube channel this is eons ago. And I was like, you know, I, I hardly ever even use Google at all anyway, but you know, yeah, but yeah, it's going to go up there for sure. We'll yeah, yeah, yeah. You could get sponsorship by a grape company. <laughs> 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 At least the pesticide. <laughs> Get a pesticide endorsement. Yeah, you know, you're like, I could eat it with no washing. It's safe. <laughs> Good idea. Uh, wait, Alexis ask, is asking, what time is it in Austria? It's uh, Australia. Australia, which is it's well, all, Oh, in Austria or Australia? Well, in Austria, well, let's go for both. Well, what time is it in yeah. Well, in Australia, Austria, it's almost, eight. Go, go, Luis. No, no, is it 8.50 a.m. for you? It's 8.50 a.m., yeah. It's, it's 1.50 a.m. for me. Oof. All right. Jazz I heard the fangs start coming out. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, right. if you guys want to follow Luis on Instagram, he is on there as Trombonilla. Um, Trombonilla. Um, I, will, I, I think I found Exploding Pig on Instagram. Is, it, is, this, is this right? That's the one. Angry. <laughs> yeah, because sure, I, 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 I got to just like shout this out because I, I need everybody to go listen to Exploding Pig so you can check out such hits uh, like Six Inch Slippers, The Jew Strikes Back, Bob Marley Had a, shoot, a Shooting Run, and Britney is Locked Up Now. <laughs> I, I love the titles and I love the band name. So I'm, I'm going to go. Amazing. Each one, each one comes with a drawing, and there's a description on each one. The pig's name is Abear, and he has his own bio as well. So, uh, <laughs> oh my god, I mean, amazing! Really amazing. amazing. So I, still enough, I still have enough time to horse around a little bit, or pig around, I guess, a little bit. <laughs> uh, I have to find it now. All right, amazing. Thanks, Luis. Such inspiration to us all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All thank right. you. So um, before the ad break, there is another ad break. I'm going to um, remind y'all that if you want to support the Jazz Gallery and the Jazz Gallery Lockdown Sessions, um, please consider donating. There is a link in the description to donate, uh, which helps us pay all sorts of bills, pay the musicians, 
Um, uh, yeah, whatever you can think of donating, that is, is going to be greatly appreciated. We asked for a suggested donation of $15, but if you can do more, that's cool. If you can do less, that's also cool. Um, doesn't matter. We will take anything. So, um, go scroll down to the description and click the link to donate and, uh, consider helping, helping us out. Uh, oh my God. There are so many exploding pigs on Instagram. No, no, it's on Spotify. <laughs> Oh, on Spotify. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna you're gonna find different kinds of exploding pigs on Instagram. Like, that that's a hell of a wormhole to fall down. Yeah. I know. I was like, that doesn't look like a musical guru. And this and this is coming from someone who's ready to have breakfast. <laughs> well, I'm gonna oh add break. Uh, yeah. Okay, we're at breaking. Mm. Yeah, uh, it's on it's on Spotify. I'm I'm gonna li man. I, I really want to listen to this. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! So you have it. How's your daughter? Is she still playing? She plays. She's playing piano. I started to you know. Terrell gave her that beautiful Adams trumpet. Yeah. And it was just sitting on there. It's, you know. Uh -huh. Right here, baby. Oh my god! <laughs> well, I've I've been I've been playing it every day for about four months. Wow. And. I can say, especially with the Harmon mute, I sound less crappy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, you know, now Jonah's playing bass. Now your daughter and Jonah can duet. Uh, ah. Yeah, she yeah she asked me about it. She walked, she walked by a little while ago. She says, what? That's real. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is I. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, now, so I just I started horsing off the, with the trumpet. It took it was amazing. It took me about I had to get some online lessons with with Nick Marcion because I just couldn't I couldn't understand how the trumpet really how it worked on. Well, the Nadia can help you. She's right here. Right. There's three <laughs> notes. <laughs> yeah, but which three? You make them up. <laughs> you know, the, on the trom, on the Everyone trombone. plays a different three notes. That's why we have big bands. <laughs> <laughs> the trombone. Have you ever played trombone? Have you ever played trombone? I I have I have so you, briefly. You know both both lip both lips vibrate. When you play trumpet, the bottom lip works like an anchor, and it's just the top lip that's vibrating. Who's been teaching you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, one free lesson for you. <laughs> there you go. She's so like, I that's not how that works. <laughs> I've been, been horsing around. I, you know, I wake up every morning and the routine is 20 minutes piano, 20 minutes. I started horsing around tuba about a year ago. This is the second time. Oh, man. <laughs> 20 minutes on tuba, 20 minutes trumpet, a half hour on trombone, take a little break. Again, Your neighbors again, must love you. I do the cycle again, <laughs> cycle again you know. I next, know. Next, is, next is violin, but I'm allergic to the rosin. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think a lot of violinists are also allergic to <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, good morning. Has it been a minute? Yep. Right. Yep. Very much so. Okay. All right. Um, cool. No, yeah, we're going to move on to our uh, next guest, uh, Sarah, who we've, 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 we've actually seen you at the gallery plenty of times, although not with your groups. But actually, um, I played there back in 2005. I mean, it's, it's been a oh, while. Okay. Yeah, that's, it's been, that's before my time. Yeah, this, so, yeah. this space, yeah, exactly. up the staircase. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I, I was gonna say, like, yeah, we, we've had you so, so like in so many different settings with all these different people and like not with your group. That's like right. wild. Yeah. Um, but we have to bring you back, I guess, you know. Um, yeah, but I mean, also, he, she got kind of busy, like, you got busy with other things. So I remember like doing an email back and forth and some dates not working out. and. Because I think, as far as the combination of jazz and violin goes, I think you're my one of my favorite people. To, you know, it, it's hard. It's a hard instrument to play jazz on. Yeah. You know, and I think that you do. I don't know. I I, I like the way you approach it so much. I, I I was gonna shout out like the fact that you are like the cat for like violin because like. A lot of people have probably heard you and like don't know, but like you're on most of like the great records with like strings on them. Like I mean, I'm I'm, I'm gonna just like shout out a few. I mean, Fabian's uh, Rhizome. You're on uh, Linda's. Uh, non yeah. yeah. Um, Miho Hazama's group, which is one of the few like big bands with strings. Yeah. Um, 
what else? I'm, I'm trying to think of. Uh, yeah, I mean, off Esperanza. the top of my head. Oh, Alan Ferber. Alan Ferber. Um, I mean, off the top of my head, and there's many more great things that you've done. So um, just a, a big shout out to, to those skills. <laughs> well, one of my one of my biggest influences actually is um, is John Blake, Jonathan uh, Blake's father. Yeah. Um, I've known, I knew, God, I, I think I first met John when I was maybe twelve or thirteen. Oh wow! And he was one of those um, just, I mean, such a loving guy and, and such an amazing teacher and a hell of a violin player. And um, so his his influence and his um, his approach. To both performance and, and uh, teaching has been a really big influence. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's yeah, that's how I met Jonathan. It was through yeah. that. So he was a very special person <laughs> in so many ways. Yes, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. I mean, and that was also one of the reasons I came to New York back in um, I guess it was two thousand four. Now was uh, to go to MSM and mm -hmm. to um, and to study with John. Right. So, right. Yeah. Wow. Wait, where are you now? Are you in New York, I'm, right? Yeah, I'm in Brooklyn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and I also have to shout out to your baking. <laughs> this COVID baking is, if you go to her Instagram, like every, wow. I'm just like, okay, first of all, it's amazing that you do this every week consistently. That says a lot about you as a person and artist, but also like, how is she like this when she's eating that every week? <laughs> Is she just baking it and like throwing away? Like what's no, going no. on? <laughs> no, we have a lot of really awesome neighbors who are helping us okay. eat everything. <laughs> like, like and a lot of friends. And friends, friends like are. me. <laughs> <laughs> so first of all, I'm gonna... if I could send some goodies to Asha, I would do it. Oh okay, so boy, you're kidding. <laughs> So first of all, everybody welcome Sarah Caswell or here. That's why uh, for me it's here. Second of all, like I got into baking too over the, the quarantine, and this is why I am how I am right now. <laughs> the beer, the beer you so 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 this, this is upsetting. Yeah, here, here's coming up. <laughs> um no, that's that's killing. I actually yeah, I hadn't gone to your Instagram for some reason, but like now I'm seeing it. This looks all amazing. Yeah, there's I'm, I think I just I baked uh, I am fifty six last uh like well yesterday. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it just started kind of as a joke. I mean, just or sort of a, just a random post. You know, I think it was like when life gives you lemons, you, you bake a lemon bourbon bun cake or something, and <laughs> it it got so much response. I was like, well, what the hell? I have nothing else to do. I might as well start baking every <laughs> Sunday. So um, yeah, so it, it I, I think yeah, I kept up pretty much with the full year, and um, yeah, got on quite a lot. <laughs> but it's a sign of the times, like, you know, I, I never baked anything, pro I mean, I very rarely did I bake anything prior to this. And, um, and then for my birthday in February, I got so excited because Michael, my boyfriend, bought me a KitchenAid mixer. And I was like, that was the <gasps> biggest, <laughs> like, oh my God. I could have cared less about it's a mixer a year thing. ago, but it's a life changer. We've reached that time of our lives. <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing, like, as a woman, like, I don't want to be so excited about getting the kitchen equipment because it implies certain things, yet no. the kitchen mixer is different. It's like a whole another thing. It's, right? a, it's a, league in a, a league of its own. It's just an it yeah. defies category. That's just, yeah. yeah, I got really, really excited. Yeah. yeah. So I, mean, like, I, I got into making pizza at first, and then I started doing, like, all sorts of different things. But, like, yeah, the, the KitchenAid thing was, like, oof. Game changer. <laughs> Um, let's let's stop talking about food. <laughs> because, uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, I have your video, Sarah. Is there anything you want to say beforehand? Um, yeah, this this is um, so there are two songs on here. Um, I was was recently well, this it's kind of a a long backstory here, but I'll I'll try to keep it short. Um, in March of uh, last year, I was supposed to be down um, in late March of last year. I was supposed to be down in Florida doing a uh, a, a performance at Miami Dade College, <clears throat> and about two weeks before the show, obviously everything just shut down. And uh, so this concert got rescheduled to March of this year, and I was supposed to fly down to Miami to do a concert with a live stream concert with the faculty, and uh, that obviously got changed for, for obvious reasons. Um, so they asked me if I would uh, put together a concert video, um, just like a live you know, performance just done done here in Brooklyn. And um, so I said, sure, why not? And uh, so I used Ike Sturm, uh, Jesse Lewis, and um, Michael W. Davis on drums, and then uh, uh, got Luke and Matt Morant on board to, to help me out with this. Yeah, the, the 
kind of like my family and which, which is what's awesome is that um luke and matt just moved into our building and they've oh, got wow. their, their whole studio set up down in the basement so it's like look yeah. out <laughs> you could have come up for some big goodies oh <laughs> that's killing yeah shout out shout out to matt and luke because they yeah. built like I, I actually set up a studio here as well oh fantastic. And, and matt was like one of the guys that I was just like texting every night, like, yo, what should I do for this? Like, yeah. Man. yeah, shout out Those to Those guys me. are amazing. Like the two of them, Matt with his, um, you know, with his audio and I guess read, like his read making business has been incredible. And then um, Luke with his photography and, and videography. Yeah. Um, and then they're just two really nice guys. I mean, they're just so sweet and so generous with their time. Um, they're like yeah, great was, musicians too. Yeah, they're yeah. killer. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, Matt's an incredible tenor sax player and, and Luke's an incredible pianist. I mean, they just got talent just every, everywhere. Yeah. So um, yeah, so we, the guys and I all got together in the basement and, um, and did this concert. And for me, it was the first time I'd done uh, a full length concert since shutdown and so um and to play with these guys so it was simultaneously like amazing and just so much fun and simultaneously exhausting because i hadn't really sort of felt that sort of full level engagement for you know an hour's worth of music for a while so um but yeah it was a thrill to be back with those guys and to be um you know, doing this uh, video. so I, I thought i would share um a couple of the uh, tracks from this particular um, yeah cool all right, well, here we go.
Everything. Yes. Thank you. The video was great. <laughs> Music was amazing. Hey, or did great you editing. Oh, I have to show you. I was going to ask you, right wait there. a minute. Do you have sympathetic strengths? In your yeah, 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 yeah. What's going on there? It's, okay. a, it's a hard anger violin. Um, it's, uh, it's a Norwegian folk fiddle. Um, and this one is kind of a modern variation on it. It has um, five strings that you play instead of four. And it has a set of sympathetic strings. Amazing. Uh, oh, wow. Then, yeah, so it's like this, okay. it's got this super resonant sound. Um, but the reason I grabbed it was because it has a lion's head with a st uh, tongue sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> Can, can, you, right. can you show that again on the side? Yeah, the yeah, yeah. it's thing? kind of hard to see. I'll put it against my, my no, shirt. Wow. What does that do? So they just resonate with the vibrations of the instrument. So you never actually play them. They're just, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they just but they, the, the result is that the, um, the delay or like the, the tail on a note is so much longer. So oh. it's like this uh, acoustic amplifier. Um, amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. And the low, the low string is an additional fifth lower? Um, you can tune it to whatever you want with a lot of Norwegian okay. folk music. Um, they do a lot of uh, tuning, different tunings based on the, the style of song you're doing and, um, and all that stuff. The, these are actually geared pegs, so it's a lot easier to change the, um, the tuning of the instrument. But I have it tuned um, traditionally on top, so E, A, D, G, and I have it tuned to a low D. And then um, huh. the sympathetic strings are tuned to an A, a G, Oh. E, D, and B. So Why all not the same? Oh. Really, really well together, and um, yeah, just make, they um, mm. when everything is right on, like right in tune, <laughs> which doesn't always happen. But when it's like right in tune, the vibrations and the tone. Yeah, like all the tone, just like things just amazing. Yeah. Can, can you do? Is it, is it too much to ask to to do a little? No, sure. I'll let me grab my phone. <laughs> Maybe I want to hear it too. That's I hear super it. cool. Yeah. Man. Yeah. And yeah, it's, yeah, I'll have to see if it's in tune. Crazy. A friend of mine um, out in Seattle had one of these instruments. At the time, um, there weren't very many of these around. Um, I, this was back in 2013, 2014. And uh, yeah, so the, um, a friend of mine in Seattle had this instrument. He said, hey, why don't you go ahead and give it a shot? It's really interesting. I think you can really dig it. And I played three or four notes on it. It was just like my, my whole body was vibrating. <laughs> it, was, it was crazy. But I had like, immediately such a connection to it that um, I don't ordinarily do something like this, but I emailed the Luthier the next morning. He's, he's over in um, in Oslo, Norway. And I said, I'm in love with these instruments that you're making. Would you uh, be willing to make one for me? And um, about four months later, this uh, showed up on my stoop in, in uh, New York, in Manhattan. Wow, amazing. So there, are, there are a few of these out now. I think that he's probably got about, um, oh, there are probably over a hundred of these now, but uh, they're, they're traditionally played by Norwegian folk musicians. But um, yeah, I've been kind of, um, you know, bit by bit starting to incorporate this into some of the other groups that I work with. And um, this is actually um, uh, uh, an album that I'm working on with, with these guys. Um, I actually finally put this fiddle on there. So I'm, I'm kind of hey. In that capacity. It looks a, looks a little bigger than a standard. Uh, yeah, actually, I, I can grab my other fiddle. Hold on a second. So this is my acoustic. Um, so you can do a side by side. Uh, oh, okay. You can see it's a little bit smaller. Yeah. And the, so the spacing too, when I first got it, it took me about six months to really get comfortable going back and forth between the two instruments because mm -hmm. there was just enough difference that it mm -hmm. was kind of throwing me a bit. Um, but yeah, other, but it's, you know, now I'm, now I'm pretty used to it and it's not that big of a deal to go back and forth, but, um, yeah, it's not quite a viola, but not definitely not quite a violin either. Yeah. <laughs> but, wow. That's and beautiful. Lions, yeah. oh, it sounds beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. The maker's name is uh, Salve Hockadal. Um, yeah, he, he makes traditional violins and then he makes traditional hard angers, um, which you may have seen that got a lot of mother of pearl inlay all up and down the fingerboard and roses oh. like line designs and everything. Mm -hmm. um, and then he also um, designed, um, invented and designed uh, and built 
uh, these as well. So yeah, kind of fun. Faces. I, I wonder, <laughs> we can see if they, God, that would be amazing if you made some like, I mean, don't they have some instruments like that with those sort of like larger string instruments with sympathetic strings? There I know are, I've yeah. seen them around, but I've never actually yeah. been lucky enough to hear one in person. So. Yeah, n neither wow. have I. I'm curious what it would be. I mean, it's probably for a bass, it's just like a lot of, it's yeah. not, it, might be too, it might be too much to bring to the gig. <laughs> 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 but just like for myself at home. Yeah, to yeah, play solo to, on that. Mm -hmm. Do a sound bath, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Amazing. Beautiful. Okay. That's super. Yeah. Let me check the YouTube chat. Let's see what's happening on YouTube. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Paul Corner's brain just blew, blew up with that video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I think as you know, it's it's hard to find a violin player who approaches this, you know, music the way you do. It's because a lot of people come from classical background and it's hard, you know, there's certain feel and habit, it's hard to get out of, you know what I mean? Like when yeah. you grow up in the but you, you have a whole different thing and you know, I really like that. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I I was I had a couple teachers very early on. Um David Baker was was one of the first ones who was very adamant about like wanting make, to make sure that I listened to horn players first. Mm -hmm. And so it was kind of funny. He didn't, let me, idea. Trans <laughs> 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 uh, he didn't let me transcribe any, uh, any violin players for the first uh, few years of, of lessons. And it wasn't because he didn't respect and love uh, violin players who were out there, but I think he was really nervous about me latching onto a lot of violin idiomaticisms mm -hmm. first and not kind mm -hmm. of absor absorbing the language. At right. the board, no matter what instrument it was coming from. So um, I know that had a, a huge difference in, I mean, it has made a big, big difference in how I approach violin playing. And I think a lot of like the you know, people like John, um, John Blake and, and uh, Regina Carter as well, um, they had that sort of same lineage as far as really having so much influence coming in from, from horn players in addition to violinists, of course. But I think it's making sure that you're really getting your language from uh, a diverse um, um, different diverse resources and not letting your instrument be the, the lone guiding force. Mm -hmm. mm. yeah. And uh, uh, by, like and by the way, you and Jesse really complement each other beautifully. Yeah, he's, a, he's Jesse, a great guy. I've known Jesse for a long time. <laughs> no, I didn't really I want to highlight what I think is the best comment we've gotten on YouTube chat. Um, find someone who looks at you the way Jesse and I accompany soloists. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> shout out the man shout out. That's great. Oh, That's man. a good one. So good. Yes, good. definitely. Yeah, they Who were on. Be, who's the bass? Who's the bass player and the drummer, by the way? Oh, so uh, Ike Sturm is the bassist. Oh, that's right. Um, yeah. yeah, and I know Endless Field was on uh, lockdown, I think, earlier this year, right? Yeah, they were. They've got a couple albums out on Biophilia, uh, Fabian Almazon's uh, record label. Um, the drummer uh, is my boyfriend, uh, Michael W. Davis. Yeah. Drummer. Yeah, Endless Field actually played our like I think our second uh, live stream concert. Or something. Yeah, very early on. That was a beautiful concert. Those are those are my brothers. <laughs> Known them yeah. for a long yeah. time, and, and uh, yeah, we we make a lot of music together. So it's, it was nice to be able to the do sound, that. Like, sound was really great. I mean, besides the music, the sound itself was really great. The yeah. the video, the editing, I mean, it was really really everything. And the Marantz nice. brothers, MAV Super Studios. That's their Super that's their surprise. business. Yeah, they're the like, Matt and Luke did a beautiful job with it, and um, yeah. yeah, MAV Studios. They've got it set up in our basement, so definitely check it out. Nice. Um, cool. So Sarah, is there anything that you are working on that you would like to promote? Um, yeah, I, I mean, it's not promotable yet, but, um, I've got an album that I recorded, um, with Ike Jesse and, uh, Jared Schoenig, um, and Chris Dingman is, is guessing on, on a few tracks as well. Oh, nice. Um, we were supposed to release it this year and then COVID happened. <laughs> so, um, so the plan is to, um, to get that released, uh, if not this year, then early next. So, um, I'll be sure to let people know about that as, as it's, uh, as it, you know, Goes through the process. Yes, yeah, mixed and mastered, and the photographs are done. So now it's just a matter of kind of getting the release, um, yeah. release date set. Cool. Well, thank you. Um, if you all want to follow Sarah, she is on Instagram at Sarah Caswell VLN Violin. Um, keep up with the music and with the baking. And so. <laughs> thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Yep. Yes. Um, ad break. 
uh, before we move on. Um, yeah. All right. Wow, that was really beautiful, Sarah. Yeah. 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 Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> it's just so nice to be gathering with all you folk. It's, oh, my God. Yeah. I know. Th this I is a part that I missed. I know. <laughs> yeah. And then, the hang. I mean, you know, gig is great, but then, like, hang is the part that I really miss, mm. the community and people, and just, like, you know, shooting shit with each other, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, me too. Talking about exploding yeah. pigs and all, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> Making me hungry. Yeah. yeah. Nadia, how, how long have you been back in Australia? Since December. So, yeah, I just sort of came out, I thought, just for a few months. Um, and then sort of things are great here. <laughs> so <I'm>, where, where <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> it's sort of almost embarrassing to say. Um, yeah. Where where are you? I'm I'm in Sydney. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> so. And things are totally cool there, right? But kind of, yeah. Um, the, I mean, there's no community cases in the whole country, so wow. yeah, that's cool. it, they've done a really sort of wow. remarkable job. And obviously, it helps being a remote island. You know, mm. I mean, a big <laughs> island, sure. but it is yeah. still very much an island have, uh, in, have the, in the middle of nowhere. Have you played at David Panicki's club yet? I haven't, I haven't, but I met, I met up with him for drinks, um, to say hi. Yeah. He's, he's a character. Yeah, <laughs> Just to say that the least. That doesn't, that, that'll so never great. change. No, no, hopefully out. not. It's a pretty nice cafe. Yeah. Yeah. I'll make it, I'll make it there. Lazy Bones, right? Isn't it? That's yeah. a great place. Yeah. Yeah. No. So you think it's staying there for a while or? Yeah. I'm here until November. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. Good. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to lose my green card, <laughs> so yeah. I'm, you know, so I'm, I'm coming back. But it's like, you know, while I'm still remote teaching, you know, I know that. Wait, I, I you're teaching here? Anyway. Yeah. So the time is like totally. So you're doing what Linda yes. and Fabiana are doing. Yeah. So it's like in my book, I've got it divided. It's crazy. I've got it divided into two. So I've got all like American <laughs> appointments on one side and all Australian appointments on the other. So it's like <laughs> oh they're on God. different days. Like like it's Wednesday. Uh, no, it's Tuesday here. So, you know, I've, I've already taught. Yeah, I've taught my Monday students, but then I've got, you know, Australian Tuesday things to do. So mm -hmm. it's like a very strange. It's it's like I I got a double and triple check. <laughs> Like what oh day? Oh my it? god! Where am I? Gotta, gotta <laughs> Where are these people? Every day, Saturday right. calendar. How, right. How's your right. sleep schedule? It's it's a little nuts. It's actually not not too bad. I mean, I start teaching. My earliest is at five forty five a.m. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. She said five forty five. Oh yeah. my god! So that's your early. That's the early, yeah. Like, like a late tour. student would be seven a.m. is late. I'm like, oof, get to sleep in, big day. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty much every day. Like I'm working oh, every day. God. I don't have, yeah. So do you have neighbors? Um, I I do, but there, it's a house, okay. so I can yes. I can make noise. I am I am staying with my very patient mom, so <laughs> Your mom. you know. I do okay. I do like some I do like some she's she's in another section of the house so hopefully I don't disturb her too much I haven't actually asked um, but, but... <laughs> yeah don't ask don't tell <laughs> yeah, exactly I'm, like, I'm not gonna mention it but she's very patient and understanding I'm very lucky so um, so I just try and keep it quiet you know for at least for the first hour and then you know, and then I'll <laughs> the sound increases oh my God. Yeah. and recordings i'll do later in the day yeah. you know so Ooh. yeah so it's on it's that note nutty. yeah well let's uh let's get going so actually it's it's nice that we have both you and sarah here because sarah is in a couple of your projects yeah she was in the original um quintet that yeah. I did and on my debut album. Yeah, absolutely. So, so it's, it's a nice little transition. That's though. so beautiful. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. And also I can I can Jesse her on this this new project. So this I is another to, I, I, I can Jesse show right now. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing at all. <laughs> I was about to say because because I was uh, first of all I, I should mention that just like Sarah is like the cat for violin, you are the the cat for like trumpet. I mean oh, you're nice. you're in like <laughs> You're in like two of like the the probably the biggest well-known big bands in in the world, which is Maria Schneider's 
and Darcy James argues groups. So, I mean, that's a feat unto itself. Um, but also, I mean, like your music is also happening. And like, as I said, as you said, you said, Jesse and, and Ike are, uh, on your projects as well. Um, I was looking up that project, by the way, it's a little hard to find cause it's like on, only on vinyl and like, yeah, yeah. So, so this, this is an album that was recorded live in Muri, Switzerland, um, a couple of oh, years yeah. ago. Yeah. It's that's it. It's yes. The best place just the best best place it's like this magical place um with this magical host who just um yeah who just organizes everything so beautifully and makes you feel right at home and cooks for you and it's just a most incredible vibe um and so we recorded this album as part of a vinyl box set um that was released on nouvelle records so it's a vinyl only um series and so that that came out a couple of years ago and now i've just acquired the masters so i'm going to be releasing this album on my label in a, a couple of months that's what i'm so, going to yeah so it will be available so that's yeah it is hard to find and there's no audio anywhere so i thought i would i would um you know it's a bit hard <laughs> yeah i i mean like i i'm from Sydney, but I studied in Melbourne. So all my musician friends are basically in Melbourne, even though I'm making a whole bunch of new friends here, but I just thought it would be really fun. Um, yeah, to, to share this music for the first time, um, in the, yay. Um, and also I, I do have some live footage of this, um, these, um, these tracks, but I thought it would be fun to sort of go on a little bit of an armchair journey. (laughs) <laughs> since we've all been so stuck and um yeah I love traveling and I love taking photos so just on my iPhone nothing too fancy but I thought I would just go through my collection and see if there was things that I could do so I oh, sort nice. of just compiled compiled um yeah some some things so the first track is uh the title track of the album called Gold Foss which means um gold gold waterfall um and it's in Iceland so yeah, I took myself there for a holiday a few years ago and just rented a car and drove around and it's insane. It's absolutely insane. It's so gorgeous. Like I was just yelling like <laughs> to myself, like, whoa, you know, like just like because you turn, a, you think there's nothing there and you turn a corner and suddenly it's just like there's waterfalls everywhere. It's just the most beautiful place and parts of it. I'm like, I feel like I'm on the moon. There's all these black rocks and stuff. It's just, it's crazy. So I, I was just, yeah, really inspired, um, by these gorgeous waterfalls. Um, so that's the first track. And then the second track is called Indian Pacific. And it's the name of uh, the train that runs from, um, across Australia. It's the longest sort of single, (laughs) just goes in the straight line. But, But, you know, if you think of like going from the East coast to the West coast in America, it's that, it's that long. It's just this insane train straight, straight across. Um, so I, I, um, yeah, I, this whole album is really about different places in the world. So I just thought I'd take you on a, a, a little little armchair journey to Iceland and to Australia. Cool. Sounds good to me. Before we start, as always, welcome to Nadia Nordhaus. That's how you pronounce your last name, right? Nordhaus? Yeah, pretty, yeah. Nord, Nord like the keyboard, house like a house. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, Nadia like the genus. Perfect 10. <laughs> Nadia. Kamenichi. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs>
Mm. Gorgeous. Great. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful. So gorgeous. Wow. Yeah. Thanks very much. Somebody, uh, this gentleman named Gary Smith said, makes me think of Chuck, highest praise from an all guy. <laughs> very lyrical. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. <laughs> uh, former trombone As section friend from Cal State Los Angeles. Ah. Oh, wow. Okay. How about that? Wait, so you took all the photograph as well? Yeah. Amazing. Beautiful. It's just whatever I could find. <laughs> yeah, muted, muted. On my phone. <laughs> Luckily, I had a hard drive. Thank you. Very, very majestic. Everything. It's like the, uh, the sound and the pictures went together super well. Awesome. Thank you. So how long yeah. were you in Iceland? Were you, were you there just for... It, it was just it was just for a holiday this was like um i was there for like four four days four or five days oh, i just sort of went and i'm like i'm just gonna i'm gonna be like a civilian a tourist <laughs> <laughs> i'm not gonna play i didn't take my trumpet i just went and it was it was brilliant it was so, it was so lovely yeah so so you, yeah. Did, you did the whole drive around the, the 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 island right i didn't i didn't do there's this loop um, that that you can do it's like the the ring something or other the ring road I think or something and um yeah I didn't I didn't do the whole thing I just did sort of parts of it I was staying in Reykjavik and then I just would just drive um, my my big mistake was that I didn't rent a four wheel drive and there's all sorts of weird things with the insurance that if you just take a regular car you know on the four wheel drive roads and you you damage it I just sort of yeah so I couldn't I couldn't do some of the things that I wanted to do next time I will just sort of just you good know, to know cuz I'm like I want to go <laughs> yeah definitely yeah. get like a four wheel drive there's all these crazy clauses in the insurance which I was just like are you are you joking like it, it was um like if a door gets blown off your car or if the sand like damages the paint on your car I'm like what, what is going on? But then as I went to these places, like I'm there, I'm like, this is the windiest place on earth. Like, and I'm, I'm like, I open the door and the door just starts, you know, I was like, oh my gosh, no, the insurance. I didn't check that one. You know? <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's, it's bananas. Um, but just incredible. It's so incredible. Yeah. I have a question. What was, do you know what uh, Jesse was playing in that second song? Which guitar? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> very specific. <laughs> um, just the I think the one that it that, hmm, I assume it was the one that was in Sarah's video. Just that. Because no, he he was getting like like almost like a, like a like a mandolin or ukulele kind of. That's what it sounded like a mandolin. Uh -huh. yeah. Right. No, he, yeah. he just had his electric. He had an electric and an acoustic, and he had a pedal board. So you know, he was. But you had a harp player too, right? Yeah, Marcus. Maeve Gilchrist. Oh, oh, Maybe that's that what you're Maeve. hearing. That was Maeve. Okay. Yeah. Maeve. Yeah, she's she's this incredible um, harpist, Celtic harpist. Um, it's like a lever harp. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's, yeah, she's that's amazing. That's really yeah. She so. played at the gallery one time with um, uh, who was it? Who was it? Near Felder. No, it wasn't with Nier. No, I can't remember. But yeah, I'm I'm then picturing it. But Jacob Sachs mm -hmm. was in the group. Um, <sighs> was, I'm blanking on her name, Rio, right now, but she is uh, the cellist. Cellist. Oh. Um, I'm blanking on her name. I know who wait, it is. Wait, Okyung? No, Okyung Lee. No. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. She played with Okyung. Okyung had a really cool project. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. She's really busy. She does like the Silk Road projects, and she does oh, this wow. Celtic connection, like all December up in Boston, and mm. she travels. Yeah, she travels around. Does lots yeah, of stuff it's the oddest thing the jazz hat player works a lot, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. <laughs> it's so unexpected. Yet, yeah, like Edma, <laughs> uh, Brandy, maybe they all work a lot. Yeah, yeah, very, very busy. Yeah, something to think about. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, but that was beautiful. Yeah, that was really Thank cool. You. So, so Nadia, is there anything that you're working on that you would like to promote? Um, you t you mentioned this record that you're. Kind Wait, of... hold on. We we just cut off Aura. I'm sorry, you were about to say. No, something. I was just gonna say it's, it was great to hear to hear James like function like the drummer in the band, which is something right. that he does. Yeah. It. I haven't heard him do. I I was in a few projects with him at one mm -hmm. time, and he would usually be just playing like <laughs> vibraphones <laughs> and toys and size percussion yeah. and stuff. 
mm-hmm. and uh, he, he he has such a great sense of, of time and, and texture. It's, Absolutely. It's great to hear him in, in this context. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and in in other tunes in the album, he does very different roles. Like he plays synths, in, you know, like exclusively right. in one and things. So it's it does he he is sort of still swapping around in true James style, but with this one, right? Like, that is. You've got to be a train, James. <laughs> <laughs> be a train, man. <laughs> I, wonder, I can see him saying something. Yeah. It's like what else can I? What else can I hit? Like, you know. <laughs> Oh, quick. <laughs> no, it's okay. Stay on the lane. <laughs> Stay on the lane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, have, you have to utilize him if you have him in the band. He's like one totally. of the, yeah. the great uh, multi instrumentalists. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah, this album's coming out. I'm I'm hoping for July. So I mean I'm just releasing it digitally. I'm not doing a CD run unless people are like, I really want a CD. Which I'm assuming yeah, that might probably be not gonna happen. Five. <laughs> Yeah, right now, I mean, it's like, you know, it was incredible to have it on vinyl. Um, yeah. And occasionally Nouvelle does these sort of specials where they release um, the albums um, individually, not part of the box set. Um, mm-hmm. But for now, I think, yeah, you, the vinyl is only available as part of the box set and then I'll release it digitally on my, my own label, yeah, in July. So oh, it's wow. coming soon. Awesome. Excellent. Well, thank you, Nadia. If people want to follow you, they can follow you on Nadia Nordhaus. By the way, your name on Zoom has like an extra I on it. Oh, There's wow. I spelled my name wrong. Out. That's great. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I, 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 I did that. I did that. Oh, oh I sorry. was like, oh, that was me. <laughs> oh, that's right. I like it like it's that. I haven't me. seen that. So, so yeah. Usually it's an Nadia, M instead of an H, so I love a little Nord yeah. mouse. It's because it's always fun. <laughs> Oops, sorry about that's that. That's all right. I didn't notice. I didn't notice at all. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Luis, are you okay? Are you still awake? I'm still awake. And no, it's super late over there. No, at least I don't have to, I don't have a student at 545. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> And yeah, uh, it was good. I could get some teaching before done before this. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Unbelievable. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. It's crazy. And I'm teaching in person here as well. So it's, uh, it's yeah, it's busy. Wow. But absolutely thrilled, you know, that I'm able to do this. So, of course. Yeah. So I will say we, we miss you though, Nadia. <laughs> oh, I miss you too. I know. I'll be I miss all of you, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's been a long time. Indeed. But yes. But thank you so much for partaking today. Thank you. Yeah. Who went first? Thank you, Or. Thank you, Luis. Thank you, Sarah. And thank you, Nadia. And uh, thank, thank you for you. people still watching. Yeah. Hanging with us. Yeah. Before you go, just remember uh, if you can donate, donate. Um, that would mean a lot to us. Um, also remember this Thursday, we're going to have Caroline Davis. Shout out to Caroline, who's in the chat. Um, yes. Here. yes. Um, but yeah, come check her out on Thursday. It's going to be really, really fun. Um, so, yeah. And yeah, not to put any pressure on Caroline, but yes, it will be amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's <laughs> it'll, it'll be great regardless. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Yeah, so thank you, everybody, and we will see you on Thursday or next week or whenever. Yes. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much. Thank Have you. a good night. Good to see you. everyone. Thank you. Everybody. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.